This is just a very quick project update. Um, we're here in the Water Govern for uh, greening the banks of the Water Govern uh, restoration project, funded for the Nature Restoration Fund and supported by the, the landowner and the District Salmon Fishery Board. This is over here is the work that you saw us uh, do to regrade and um, green engineer this banking. And um, I'm here today because we had about 36 millimetres of rain overnight and an inch of rain the night before that. So this river is huge. This is big as it's likely to get um, and so that was uh, that was a concern I want to just check that this banking here is holding up well and it is it's uh, you can see from the water line that it is right at the, the worked edge of it but uh, the willow is holding that banking together at the moment and we've managed to get the, the grass seed well established on the bank top and in some of the bank face here it's not too steep so massive bonus for us um, no issues and very pleased to see that it's uh, standing up and doing its job. I think if we'd seen this, that banking not regraded at this time of year with this water going down through its system, we would have had a high proportion of soil and sediments going into the river um, due to the erosion because the face was so sheer. So it's doing exactly what we wanted it to do. It's always a little bit nerve wracking um, visiting these sites just shortly after the work during big, big spate events. But uh, yeah, very pleased that um, all's well. So today what we're doing is uh, getting the venting started, this bottom section where the green engineering happened. Uh, this has also given us opportunity to get the coir matting in, which has just been too wet, the field's been saturated uh, ever since we did the work. And so we've got that in the back of the chopper, and that's down now, and we've just got this laid out. So we're going to peg this in, dig it in, and uh, that will really tighten this top end of the bank up. Grass seed's doing very well. It's uh, established, knitted in. We put a little bit more down. It's late in November to be doing it, but we're maybe, hopefully, <laughs> coming into a mild spell now. So with any luck, that should uh, take and just bolster up our efforts uh, further down. So you can see that's our, we've laid the coir out. It's a 50 meter roll. We've got a few meters left on it then there. It's just for some tidying up jobs, but uh, we've just now got to dig this in and peg it. So we've got the coir membrane down, dug in now, the leading edge has uh, been sunk into the trench. The guys are just digging that uh, remaining soil in and that'll make a very secure hold at the top edge of this and uh, then it's just a case of fold it over and peg it with the potato starch pegs that we have. We've got the whole coir membrane system and the potato starch pegs are all biodegradable. Um, they're really just there to act as a membrane uh, to protect the banking for the first year or so, um, allow grass to grow up through it, get established, and we'll get some wildflower seeds in that um, in the spring. And this will all be a nice, tight, secure job. The green jeans already had to hold up to a number of big spates and uh, is holding very well. And you see the, some of the willows starting to show some signs of life, and it's already budding. So, everything at the moment is uh, looking good. So that's us now just finished up installing the coir and uh, this is now grass seeded. It's staked in with potato starch pegs and uh, this is now a very secure top face to the banking. And the grass and the leaf will grow up through this, creating a very solid matrix. And you can see grass seed there, that's the pegs. And you know, it's uh, this is now ready for our fencer to come and uh, put some, some wire across this and this will keep the, the sheep off it, keep the cows off it and there's no reason now why this should fail. It's a very solid job.